What's going on guys, EJ here, bringing you another Daily Shave. So today, we're gonna to be looking at Colonel Conk Bay Rum Glycerin Shave Soap. So this soap has been around for a very long time. I don't know if they have the date on here. It says 150 years of clean living. And this is a glycerin-based soap, and you're wondering, where is the soap puck, you might ask? Well, since it is a glycerin-based soap, I was able to melt it into a shaving bowl. That excellent, nice bay rum scent. Honestly, like I, I own quite a few bay rum soaps, but but this one by far, I really love the way this one smells. So we're gonna go ahead and use this today for the razor. We're gonna keep going with the 37C slap, and for the brush is a restored rubber set shaving brush with a two band badger knot soaking in the skull. So let me with the face and we'll get going. So one thing I do like about the soap is that it can be melted and it forms perfectly into the shaving bowl. <clears throat> uh, it's very easy to do that with glycerin based soaps. Don't do it with tallow. Very, very bad idea. Um, it is also just to, just to be um, to do your research to make sure that the soap is actually compatible with melting so it doesn't lose any of its uh, lathering properties or anything like that. But shaving soaps do have you know, a very stable hold in the wood shaving community because some people, not say they're not big into the hobby, but, you know, they just really just want to enjoy wet shaving without the whole, you know, not saying <clears throat> they don't want to have artisan brands, but let's just say there's just that one gentleman who just wants a simple shave soap, a brush, a safety razor, and some aftershave. Glycerin soaps will do it for you. I mean, people still use Williams Mugs uh, shaving soap. You know, Tobbs has it, GOF Trumpler, True Fit and Hill, you know, there's a, there's a lot. And um, another one that's store-bought is uh, Vonderhagen. Yeah, they also do that too. They have two different kind, uh, kinds of soaps. I believe one is a glycerin soap, but I think that one has like shea butter in it. And the other one's just like a pure like um, glycerin soap where it's like see-through. So they have two different two different options for that. But it is a, it is a nice shave soap and it can melt into a shave bowl. <clears throat> or mug and as you can tell No problem lathering. I Also like having this too at the ready if you're ever like, you know Want to just get a quick shave on you know, it's right here in the bowl ready to go and it lathers perfectly So <clears throat> like I said, this is a bay rum scented shave soap very I would say down middle of the road, you know in, in terms of strength not too strong, but not too weak. You know, I've had, I smell lighter soaps, but you can already tell, like it's whipping up a nice lather. <clears throat> so you can find these at West Coast Shaving, relatively cheap, and I know they come in two sizes. This is the larger puck, <clears throat> but you can get a good amount of shaves off of one puck, honestly. And this was this was my very first shaving puck I ever bought when I first got into this hobby. Um, many of you may know him, Geo Fat Boy. He was the one who. Uh, Introduced this soap to me Because I watched his videos when I first started because I was learning techniques on how to shave and he was the one that popped up and When he mentioned the soap I bought it a long time ago But I ended up using it all up and I never bought a Colonel Conk soap Not saying I didn't want to but I just had so much other stuff But I did see a barber shop that carried apothecary stuff or men's grooming stuff and they had like the shave mugs, the traditional brushes and everything. And they had some Parker razors and they had Colonel Conk soap. So I was able to get one because I remember Bay Rome was my very first soap in terms of a soap puck. But you can just tell this lather is nice, you know, not as dense, you know, but it is, like I said, it's a soap puck. So 
don't expect too much out of it, but it provides a nice cushion, decent glide, and post shave is okay. You know, it gets the job done. I'm sorry, and I forgot to mention that we'll be um, finishing up the shave. While I don't have the Colonel Conk Bay Rum, I do have Tobbs Bay Rum Aftershave. And you can also get this at West Coast Shaving too as well. Great stuff, but I got that one um, from a friend who visited London. And since it is a glycerin based soap, residual slickness is, is there. At least it, it, it holds up really well for a soap puck. <clears throat> And, and with this particular soap puck too, unlike Williams, where you kind of have to get like that sweet touch to get it. You can get a nice lather from Williams, but you really got to work it in to get it. This soap right here, no problem whatsoever. None. Got lather everywhere. <laughs> and looking back at it, as I said in my other videos, if you you know, scroll down the channel. You know, coming from, you know, starting off with soap pugs to getting right over here, <clears throat> to getting shave soaps like this is just, it's phenomenal how far we came as a hobby. And it's great, but, you know, there's also those people who are, you know, purists, you know, they, they love their brands, they want to stay loyal. Some people just honestly just use the same brand of soap or artisan for years to come, which isn't a bad thing. You know, we try to promote better men's grooming. <clears throat> you know, like if you wanted, if you really, if cartridges work for you and you don't have, you know, ingrowns or irritation like that, more power to you. As long as you're using the right software is what it boils down to. But I'm having no issues right now with the shave. Excellent. Lather up one more time for the uh, final pass. I'm already pretty smooth. Pretty damn smooth actually. But we're just going to go ahead and just do a nice little third pass. It's more of a Clean up, as I always say in my videos, my last lather is always usually the thinnest. Just to always have that extra, extra slickness. So I like to add a lot more water. Kind of have it a little runny, a little see-through. There 
go. And I don't know if I haven't mentioned, but there is a Astro Blade loaded in this razor. I actually miss these blades. I've been using uh, different types of blades lately, and Astro Greens were always my like my daily driver. And I finally popped one in here for the first time in a long time, and I forgot how enjoyable the the blades were. Now, oh, man, I am. <clears throat> Great shape. No complaints here, honestly. No frills. You know, nothing complicated. Just a nice. It's a nice overall shape. My skin feels nice and soft. You know. Even with the dry down right now, it still feels it feels really really smooth. You know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Let's put that here for now. Okay, before we get into the aftershave, I'm just gonna give a brief rundown of everything that we used. So, for the star of the show will be Colonel Cox Bay Rum Shaving Glycerin Shave Soap. Good stuff. Really 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 good stuff. You know. Like I said, one of my first soaps that I ever used, and honestly, I really have no complaints. I have nothing to say about it. And the soap has been melted into the shaving bowl. And here goes the brush that we used today. This was a restored rubber set brush. <clears throat> the Razor Mercur 37C slant with a loaded Astra Green blade. And then we're going to top it off with Tobbs Bay Rub. Great bay rub scent. It's filling up, you know, the bathroom. It's really good. And I don't know if this is alcohol based. It is actually. And this the shave is so smooth, you know, usually you kind of get like the bite from certain areas that you got and went over it too many times. Zero, zero feedback putting on the splash. So this 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 shave was excellent. Really, really good. <clears throat> well, all right. Well, that pretty much wraps up my review of the shave soap for Colonel Conk. And as always, thank you everyone for being here. Thank you, West Coast Shaving. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.